The right-wing populists in Europe want to form a joint group after the EU elections, a group that should then be particularly large and strong, an international coalition of European nationalists, so to speak. But that's not so easy, because in the past, these parties have argued quite a lot. One point of contention is borders, and South Tyrol is such a case. The Austrian FPÖ says that South Tyrol is German and therefore belongs to Austria. The extreme right in Italy don't find that funny at all and say that South Tyrol naturally belongs to Italy. At present, however, there is no reason to prevent a European cooperation. After all, FPÖ boss and Lega boss Matteo Salvini are apparently best friends forever. There are indeed other borders in Europe that are difficult for European right-wing populists. The border around Hungary, for example. In 1920, Hungary lost two-thirds of its territory to Austria, Czechoslovakia, Romania, and the SHS Kingdom, later Yugoslavia, with Trianon Peace Treaty. This was a great loss for Hungary at that time and a wound that Fidesz boss and Prime Minister Viktor Orban likes to exploit. For example, he introduced a new holiday on June 4th to commemorate the disaster that the Treaty of Trianon brought to Hungary. Of course, the neighboring states did not appreciate this at all. In addition, by granting Hungarians abroad the right to dual citizenship as well as the right to vote in Hungary, Orban made no friends with the nationalist politicians beyond his own borders. The most aggressive disputes are between the right-wing populists in Poland and Germany. The Polish Law and Justice Party, the PIS, is currently the strongest party in Poland. The PIS demands that Germany should pay Poland a trillion euros in compensation because the Nazis devastated Poland in World War II. The AFD, of course, strictly rejects this. The German right-wing populists also voted against a monument to the Polish victims of National Socialism in 2017. But will an international coalition of European nationalists fail in the end because of these historic disputes? Not necessarily. Money will probably be a very important factor in deciding this outcome. EU money will flow much more freely if the right-wing populist parties form their own faction, even if some of them would like to spit in the backyard garden of their political allies across the border.